Hello, so this is a tutorial on how to paint on a canvas board using acrylic paint. This is an example of a canvas board painting which I did in 2017. Now I'm going to show you the things you need for a basic silhouette painting. The canvas board I have used here is a 6 into 6 inch square camel board. The acrylic paint I have used is Camel Artists Acrylic Paint of 20 ml per tube. The brushes I have used are synthetic hair round and flat brushes of various sizes. For the palette I have used a plastic box lid. I don't use the fancy ones because they are really hard to clean. You also need a rag cloth to wipe your brushes clean and also a bowl of water to dilute the paint and wash your brushes. A canvas board surface is usually rough and very waterproof. So in order to be able to paint properly, we need to apply a light layer of paint on the whole painting area. I have used cobalt blue to give this layer here using a size 10 flat brush. Dilute the paint really well and apply on the canvas board. As you can see, the surface doesn't absorb the paint very well in the first coat. So before the actual painting, this process is a must. Also remember to paint on the sides. Try to cover the area fully and leave it to dry completely. If you have extra paint left on the palette, scoop it up using a brush and transfer it back to the tube. Every time you finish using a color, wash the brush thoroughly and wipe it clean. So the first layer has dried up. Now I'm going to start painting a blue seascape with a silhouette of Moana and her boat on it. The colors I have used here are in the description box. You can check them there. The outline I am drawing here will not come in the painting. It is just for your reference. There is a moon in the sky as it comes in the song and there is Moana and her boat. So I am starting it with Prussian blue. Using a size 6 flat brush, I am going to apply the top layer. You can dilute it a bit if you want. And don't forget to paint on the edges as well. You can place an old newspaper under the board if you want to protect your table from the mess. For the next layer, I am going to mix Prussian blue with cerulean blue. I am going to use a bigger brush of size 10 for now. This is just the second layer so you need not worry if the colors don't blend very much. They will definitely do in the next layer. Next I am applying cerulean blue without mixing it with Prussian blue. And for the next one I am going to mix it with a bit of white. Try to do it using only horizontal strokes. This was for the sky. Now we are going to do it for the sea but the same in reverse. That is whitish cerulean, then cerulean, then Prussian. So this is the first coat done. Leave it to dry completely. Next I am going to do the second coat. This one will be really easy to blend. Just repeat whatever you did in the first coat. That is first Prussian blue, 
then cerulean plus prussian blue then pure cerulean and then cerulean with a bit of white this was for the sky for the sea again white with cerulean then cerulean cerulean with prussian and then finally we have to apply pure prussian and yes don't forget the sides fun fact you can also use your finger to paint on the board edges it makes the job easier and faster as well so the third coat is also done now i'm going to paint the moon using white paint draw a circle first you can also use a compass or a bangle and draw it with a pencil but here i'm trying to draw it free hand After drawing the circle, fill it with white paint. Once you get a proper circle of white paint, take black and white and then mix it up to get a grey to apply on the patches of the moon. You can also use a flat brush to blend them roughly. Painting a moon needs a lot of layers. Apply grey wherever there are patches on the moon and also blend them very well. Use pure white for the highlighted areas. Yes, so the moon is done. Now I am going to mix viridian green and cerulean blue and apply it to the top layer of the sea. Then mix it up with a bit of white and using short horizontal strokes bring out the waves effect. Now 
Now we are going to go for the reflection of the moon on the sea. Using a mix of white and cerulean blue, apply short horizontal strokes under the moon. Then repeat the same using pure white and a smaller brush. Sleeping Tefiti in the distance. She is a mother of nature goddess featured in the Disney movie Moana. So finally our painting would look like Moana approaching Tefiti, maybe paying her a visit after the events of the original movie of course. I have used dilute Prussian blue to draw the outline and fill it. Then opaque Prussian blue for applying the shadows using round synthetic hairbrush of size 4. Now that Tefiti is done, I am going to draw Moana and her boat and then paint in the same method that is using Prussian blue. Add some waves using white paint behind her boat. Use white paint on a size 0 round brush to give the highlights. You can also use a white gel pen for the same purpose. Finally, use the tip of a size 0 round brush to paint stars on the night sky. You can also use the spray method. For that, Take a small flat brush and dip it in diluted white paint and use your hand 
and your finger to spray the paint and bring out a star like effect. Don't make the paint too runny. Our painting is done and don't forget to sign your painting.